1999. A paragon moves with simple harmonic motion of period pi over 2. It is initially, initially it is 8 centimeters from the center, so x equals 8, from the center of the motion and moving away from the center of motion with a speed of 4 root 2 c centimeters per second. Find an equation for the position of the particle after t seconds. Now, the reason why this one happens to be different from other ones is usually you've started at the start or you start at extreme points. What they've done is they said we're eight centimeters away from the center and they said we're not stationary, we're actually still moving. And we're still moving away at four root two. So this matches the, uh, the sine wt plus e question because we're not at the beginning, we're not at the middle and we're not at the end. So that means we're going to use it. Now let's see what information we could get for making an attempt at this, okay? Now, the position of the particle at t seconds. So what I'd write down at the very beginning is this. x equals a sine wt and I won't WT means the uh, middle, it's not at the middle, it's in between. So it's going to be WT plus E. Now upon this we're going to say period is 2 pi over W. 2 pi over W is pi over 2. And then we're going to cancel the pi is I think. And then W is going to be equal to 4. Okay, so W equals 4. Next thing we need to find out. Uh, yep. So then we get W equals 4. Okay, next thing we're going to do is going to do phi squared equals W squared amplitude squared minus x squared. I'm hoping to find out what the amplitude is from this. My velocity is 4 root 2. It doesn't really matter if it's positive or negative because I'm going to square it anyway. Okay, then it's going to be W squared, which is 4 squared amplitude squared minus x squared. Multiply everything out, and we're going to get 32 equals 16 a squared minus 64. Uh, 32 divided by 16 is 2. 2 equals a squared minus 64. a squared is going to equal 66. a is going to be the square root of 66. Okay. Now we then use our formula x equals a sine wt plus e or alpha whichever what you want to call it doesn't matter what you call it and then then we're going to have uh, x is 8 its displacement is 8 its amplitude is root 66 now at t equals 0 what happens at t equals 0 initially t equals 0 x equals 8 when t equals 0 okay x equals 8 when t equals 0. So it's going to be sine 4 times 0 plus e. And then we're going to get 8 over root 66 equals sine e. And then sine e is going to be, anybody say, sine e? Sine inverse 8 over 66. 8 over root 66. And what we should get is 1.4 radians. So 1.4 radians. So this means that the full formula becomes root 66 sine 4t plus 1.4. Okay. Uh, okay. Now. A particle of mass 0.5 kilograms rests on a smooth horizontal table attached to two points P and Q, which are 1.5 meters, 1.2 meters apart. The string attached to P has a natural length of 0.4 and an elastic constant of 75 newtons per meter. The string attached to Q has a natural length of 0.6 meters and an elastic constant of 50 newtons per meter. Find the equilibrium position. From the information given, 
Is it going to be closer to P or closer to Q? What you reckon? Closer to P or closer to Q? Uh, I would say closer to, to uh, I'd say closer to P because the string has a s smaller natural length and when you do extend it it pulls back harder so I'm going to say you're closer to P okay and then we're going to have Q is here okay and the full length is 1.2 from side to side okay so what we're going to say is that this one here is going to be uh, this one here is going to be 0.4 plus its extension you happy with that? 0.4 plus its extension we're also going to take the width of the box as neg <coughs> negligible <laughs> alright so it doesn't count we're going to treat like it, it we're going to treat it like they're they're attached at the very center of the block like they go through a hole and attach it from the very center okay then the whole thing has to add up to 1.2 okay so what does this mean about so technically what we're saying is that uh that this length the 1.4 plus x is technically here to here and the other length is technically here to here attaching from the middle of the block so what does that mean about the other lengths? It's going to be 0.8 minus x. Why would you do that? Because when you add them together, they got to add up to 1.2. Okay. Now, at equilibrium, T2 must equal T1. Therefore, T1 equals T2. Now, it's going to be K, K1 times extension. Now, what's the extension for this one here? It's a natural length of 0.4, and I said 0.4 plus X. That means its extension is X. And this is going to be the second equilibrium. Now, it's going to be its extension. Now, what is its extension? Extension is equal to the full length which is 0.8 minus x and then we're going to take away the natural length current extension minus natural length what's the natural length? 0.6 so this is going to be k times 0.2 minus x and then put them in and what we're going to get is 75x equals 50 times 0.2 minus x which is going to be a uh, What's that going to be? That's going to be 75x. That's going to be 50 times 0 0.2. 10 minus 50x. 25x. Oh, sorry, 125x, is it? Is that right? Yeah. Equals 10. What's 10 divided by 125? 0 0.08. 0 0.08, perfect. So x equals 0 0.08 meters okay question says find the equilibrium position 0.4 plus 0 0.08 is what 0 0.048 so 0 0.048 meters from P or alternatively 1.2 minus 0 0.048 from Q which is 0.72 from Q okay now what happens next? Prove that the pargle is displaced in direction P to Q. Direction P to Q means it's pulled to the right. Choose uh, such a distance that neither string goes slack and then is released. Prove its simple harmonic motion. If it's simple harmonic motion, what do you need to prove? A is directly proportional to its displacement and acceleration is in opposite direction to the displacement so force 
is going to be equal to T2 minus T1. Once again, I've done something really bad here. What have I done? Compared to what you do in particle dynamics, what have I done? I've put the smaller one minus the bigger one. Why would I do that? Because the displacement is positive. Which means the acceleration going to the left must be considered negative. So force being m by a must be a negative number. And t1 is bigger than t2. Why is t1 bigger than t2? Because t1 is the one that's getting extended. While t2 is getting compressed. As in string, the string belonging to t1 the string retention T1 is becoming longer and hence more powerful while well, T2 is becoming smaller and less powerful uh, question so it has to be a negative number okay because you want it to be negative overall so it's gonna happen here is T2 minus T1 so what we're gonna get now what is T2 T2 was how long was it we want l minus l0 okay so we need to find out we need to find out its new extension so to speak okay so sorry just give me one second so guys t2 okay is defined as k its elastic constant times its extension now its extension in part one was what? It was going to be 50 times. Now it turned out to be 0.72 away from its original and the last question, minus six. So it's going to be 50 times 0.72 minus 660, sorry. It's natural length, that's its extension value. Minus T1, which is 75, okay? Now, 75, it was how far ahead? It was 0.48, wasn't it? And now it's getting increased by a distance x because you're pulling it that direction, okay? So when you're pulling it that direction, it's going to be 0.75 times uh, what's it? 0.48 was its length at equilibrium, and now it's going to be. Uh, 0.4a Sorry guys the extension of t2 excuse me, okay the extension of t2 was 0.12 It was 0.12 because it was 0.72 away But it's getting decreased now its extension is getting decreased by a value x Okay, and that means that it's going to be 0.12 minus x so it's going to be, uh, was it 50 times? 0.12 minus x, minus t1. t1 is its extension constant multiplied by its current extension before its extension at equilibrium, which is 0.48, plus x, because it's been extended further out. So it was at 0.48, but now it's getting pulled further out. Increasing the length of string for T1 and decreasing the extension for the string representing T2 So that's going to be 75 times 0.48 plus X 75 times 0.48 plus X Multiply them out And we're going to get 6 minus 50 X uh, Minus 6 minus 75 X and MA is going to equal minus 125 X. Now what is M? M is 0.5. So that's going to be a half A equals minus 125 X. A therefore equals minus 250 X. Okay, this is simple harmonic motion because the acceleration is in the opposite direction to the displacement. A equals but it's omega squared x, omega squared equals 250, omega therefore equals the square root of 250. 
and that's why it's a uh, semi-harmonic motion. Okay.